Well, so it's hard to put a figure on it, but all the research shows that the masks are a significant uh, protector for the wearer and those, um, the wearer if they're infected and those who are uninfected wearing the mask uh, to reduce transmission uh, between people. And in fact, a large study, global study, looking at the effectiveness of different interventions uh, recently published in Human Nature Behaviour, show that masks are actually a significant uh, factor in reducing the spread of the virus. What impact has the new variant had on that, the increased um, transmission rates that we've seen? Are masks as effective still now? So, if, I mean, for any more transmissible virus, of course, the masks' benefits might be slightly reduced, but they're still better than nothing. And if, if you don't wear the mask at all, it'll spread even faster. So if you look at the incremental benefit of wearing a mask versus not wearing a mask with any virus of any degree of transmissibility, of course, the mask, masking is better than not masking. Uh, also, the transmissibility of the virus uh, may be very difficult to separate from human behavior, as well as, you know, seasonal variations in uh, where we actually con congregate. For example, indoors, we spend more time indoors during winter, and transmission can occur much more frequently uh, indoors as well. So do you then welcome the decision by some supermarkets to not allow people in unless they have that medical exemption, unless they're wearing a mask? Absolutely. So uh, if you're trying to clamp down on every possible avenue of transmission, people not wearing masks properly is one option uh, to clamp down on. Uh, the social distancing is very hard to maintain in supermarkets, as, as you know, probably from your own experience, when you're going down aisles, which are probably at most three metres wide. You've got the trolleys, you've got people going down different uh, sides of the aisle. You can't maintain that two metres distancing anyway. And the mask gives you that additional protection in those close contact situations. Uh, we have had a couple of questions in from viewers, a couple of people saying, look, if you forget your mask, which, you know, maybe we all have done at some time or other, is, is a scarf just as good as any other kind of face covering just as effective? So the face coverings uh, carry, a, carry a broad uh, definition. And from what you can see, from what you can buy in the shops, they do come across, you know, they do have many different designs. Basically, something's better than nothing. And more layers uh, is better than fewer layers. So if you have... Uh, a mask, a thin mask that you can fold over two or three times and tie it around your, your neck like a, like a bandana. And that's better than nothing. Uh, and the supermarkets will not let you in anyway if you're not wearing anything. And if I, I keep uh, all my masks, a couple of masks in my car. So uh, I do keep a supply of masks in the car. So if I forget, I can always uh, get one of those supplies. Um, and that, that also you know, stops you from forgetting. Um, do you think this will become something that stays with us, a convention? I mean, it is in other parts of the world, isn't it, that if you are unwell, if you've got a cold or whatever, people just are now used to wearing a mask. Do you think that will be a legacy after the pandemic here? I, I think it's, it's a kind of built-in courtesy in some of those other areas like Southeast Asia uh, to which you're referring. So certainly in Hong Kong, Singapore, you know, Taiwan, Vietnam, wearing a mask is automatic when you go out. Uh, when you're on public transport, when you go into any indoor area. This is a courtesy that um, a lot of the other people around you will expect. And if you're not wearing a mask in those, those populations, people will look at you in a very strange way and may stay away from you. Uh, and that may become more of a norm in, in the West, uh, European and North American countries as well, uh, post-pandemic. And people will be much more aware of the risk that strangers pose because you don't know whether they're infected and vice versa, they don't know if you're infected.